Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel of DCC NIT Agatala. And today we are going to discuss problem C, make it alternative. So if you haven't read the question, I will just explain you it once. You have been given a binary string S, which only consists of ones and zeros. And you have to convert this string into an alternating string. And in alternating string, no two consecutive elements are equal. So you can see here. And you are allowed to perform few operations like uh, you can choose an index and erase it. So let's see how. And you need to find number of operations. First thing you need to find is minimum number of operations needed to make it alternating. So let's see how to find that one. So in this, you can consider the same string only. So out of if I need to make this string into an alternative string, I need only one zero here. So I need to delete two zeros. So basically I need to delete two zeros here and I need to delete two ones here to get only one one. So how many deletions I do? How many operations I did? I did four operations. So that's how you can find the number of operations and you can implement it. So the second thing we need to find is uh, the number of different shortest sequences of operations that make S alternative. Now this statement might sound quite confusing but let me explain you it in a clear language so if you have been so basically nothing you need to find number of permutations only now but there's a catch so let's take a let's take one string one zero zero one one zero okay so how many number of operations are needed simple uh delete two zeros and delete one one so two plus one is three operations are needed operations are needed and how how can i find the number of permutations so i need to delete uh, what i need to keep one zero so i can choose any one of the three zeros so there are three ways to choose one zero right either this zero or second one zero or this zero so there are three ways to choose one zero and what you can see is there are two ways to choose one 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 so how many permutations can be there? So how many permutations can be there? Three, right? But that's not the correct answer because you just observe the operation. What I can do is select this zero and delete this. Then I can delete. Then I can select this zero and delete this. So let's make the string as it is. Let's write it here. One zero 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 one one zero. Let's also give it some index. Uh, one two three four five six and seven. So what I just showed you was, uh, I did some operations. Uh, I chose this zero. I chose the zero on third index, and after that I chose, and I deleted this one. And then I choose the zero at which was at the fourth index, and then I deleted that one. Uh, and in this permutation, we only considered like that only. We choose this one and this one, and then deleted that them both. But what you can do, you can do one more thing. You can choose, you can choose fourth zero, delete that one, and then you can choose third zero and delete that one. So basically. Not only you can perform three and four, you can also perform four and three. So, so this operation, uh, this this permutation is not correct. You need to, you need to also multiply it with number of uh, operations factorial basically. So that's pretty much it. And yeah. So, what are you gonna do is. Uh, first of all, find the number of operations and store it in some variable, let's say count, and then just make a vector or array in which you will store the se sequences like uh, this one. This one is there, so I will see, uh, store one. These three zeros are together, so I will store these three here, and after that, these three ones are there, so I will store. Three ones here, and then one zero is there, so I will store one one here. 
so you can see these are the number of sequences and if i need to find the permutations this is operations and if i need to find the second answer what i'm what i need to do is first of all multiply all of this if i need to find answer multiply uh, every sequence uh, every index of the sequence and then what you what you need to do is uh, multiply it with a factorial of operations because you see that uh, it was distinct ordering so that's why you need to do a uh, multiply it with of factorial of operations because you see in this test case also uh, 2 1 2 1 is there uh, and this is nothing but 1 2 after deleting let's check this test case only 1 1 1 if you haven't understood why this operation factorial will be 2 just check out this one now let's check our string as 1 1 1 so my number of operation will be delete any twos and how my number of permutation will be either choose this one and delete rest of two either choose this one and delete rest of two and either choose this one and delete rest of these two so we get to know that our permutations will be three but that's not the answer because uh, uh let's also give it the indexes first index second index and third index because if you choose the first one if you want to keep the first one if you want to keep the first one then you need to delete second and third like this but ordering also matters right three and two will also count as one of the answers that's why you need to multiply it with the number of factorials of operations so that's basically it so yeah let's see how to implement this in code uh, so this is nothing but i stored my string into this and this is size of string n and my count count zero will store my number of uh, what operations so how i did that and my sequences will vector sequences will store this one basically a uh, number of sequence uh, size of se sequences so and also you've been given that uh, you need to print the answer into this modular answer so also do that store this one in p so first of all you need to find number of operations you can just basically find it by iterating over the entire string and uh, if two elements are consecutive elements are similar just store it like here these two are similar so i stored one and these two so two so i need basically two operations here so you can see that it's the same thing and if the string is already alternating if the string is already alternating like in this test case so obviously you need to perform zero operations and uh, the this shortest sub subsequences will uh, shortest sequence of operations will be empty so we need to submit once so if uh, number of operations needed are zero just print zero and one or else just store the sequences so uh, if i need to find number of sequences i implemented in this way so just keep your one counter and initialize it with one so uh, if you want to iterate on this one this string and we need to store it in sequence how how it will look like first uh, i will check if my two elements are similar or not first one and the later one index so if that is similar i will increase my counter you can see here it's not similar so i will just push back the a which was one and make it make a one again after that i will look here again i can see this was similar so a will increment to two after that a will increment to three and after that loop will break and it will store three again after that it will store three again for three ones and after that one zero for one one for one zero so in this way you can store the number of sequences and what i told you how to find permutation just multiply everything into three into one and while multiplying just keep an eye on this modulo thingy you also need to uh, do more percentage modulo that given number 
so your answer won't get overflown so do this and why i did this sequence should be greater than one because you can see uh, here the sequence is only one size so do i actually need it in permutation no i don't need it so i just check for the uh, things elements which are subsequently bigger in size uh, so yeah bigger than one so and at the end i just multiplied it with uh, factorial of operations you can see here one into count zero one till count zero i just multiplied it with uh, a factorial of count zero and i did it in this way because it will get overflown if i didn't do it in this way if i just directly count the factorial of count zero and multiply it with as one and then i did percentage modulo then it won't work you need to do percentage modulo in every step and later users have to print it so that's pretty much the question and its solution uh this solution question was a bit tricky in this part because you need to also multiply the factorial of operations or else it was just a normal question so if you have any doubt just leave it in the comment section and that's pretty much it thank you